Hello, I'm Tom Stolf, President and CEO of the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. By now you've probably heard that Jungle Jack is retiring after more than 40 years here at the Columbus Zoo. Since it would be impossible to highlight every notable achievement over his incredible career, we've made our own top 10 list, taking our cues from Jack's good friend, David Letterman. Number 10, beginning of wildlife tradition. You can thank Jungle Jack for one of Central Ohio's most beloved holiday traditions, Wild Lights. When Wild Lights first opened in 1988, it featured 120,000 glowing lights, a pretty respectable number for the time. But fast forward 32 years, and Wild Lights now features over 3 million shimmering LED lights. In 1993, Jack wanted to jazz up Wild Lights, and he installed an ice rink. For the rink's grand opening, he invited Olympian Peggy Fleming to take the first spin. Now that was a night to remember. Number nine, the opening of Zumbezi Bay. When Wyandotte Lake closed in 2006, Jack was enthusiastic about transforming it into Zumbezi Bay. He loved the idea that Zumbezi Bay would be the only water park that shares an entrance with the zoo. And more importantly, every penny generated would go towards the zoo's mission, providing both good family fun for the entire community and excellent financial stewardship to support the zoo. On Zumbezi Bay's opening day, Good Morning America's Sam Champion ventured to Central Ohio for a live broadcast with Jack and the animals. The water looked so relaxing that the penguins jumped in and took a little swim. Number eight. People Magazine's most beautiful people list. Not every zoo can say their director emeritus made People Magazine's most beautiful people. Mel Gibson got the top billing that year, but we personally think that spot should have gone to the man in khaki. Number seven, improving animal habitats. When Jack arrived in central Ohio, the zoo's lowland gorillas had never been outdoors. In the late 1970s, this was normal practice, but the zoo staff knew that the animals deserved much better. In 1979, thanks to the support from a local philanthropist, the gorilla habitat was transformed. The gorillas felt grass under their feet for the very first time. This represented a turning point for the zoo and helped us transform into one of the premier gorilla programs in the world. Number six, the Wilds. Having gone to Muskegon College and honeymooning with his wife Susie in Zanesville, Jack witnessed firsthand the miraculous transformation of the Wilds into one of the most unique conservation facilities in the country and was overjoyed when the Wilds officially joined the Columbus Zoo family. From the barren strip mine land to the beautiful savannas that it is today, both the visitor experience and the research being done at the wilds is like nowhere else in the world. Number five, conservation. In 1984, Jack traveled to Rwanda and saw mountain gorillas for the first time. He fell in love with both the gorillas and the country. So when a group of volunteers and zookeepers founded Partners in Conservation, a grassroots humanitarian and wildlife conservation organization in 1991, they had both Jack's encouragement and blessing. After almost 30 years, Partners in Conservation, the zoo, and Jack have witnessed firsthand that in order to really save animals, you have to empower and have the relationships with people who live near their habitats. Since that first trip, Jack has returned to Rwanda over 15 times. Number four, the birth of twin gorillas and Jack's first appearance on Good Morning America. In 1983, after the historic birth of twin gorillas at the zoo, the first in the Western Hemisphere, Jack was invited to appear on Good Morning America to celebrate this historic moment. Knowing that this was a great opportunity to educate people across the nation about animals, he and the zoo team eagerly accepted the invitation, skyrocketing Jack to the national stage as one of wildlife's most passionate advocates. Number three, bringing manatees to Central Ohio. After seeing manatees in the wild in Florida, bringing manatees to Central Ohio to participate in the U.S. Fish and Wildlife's Manatee Rehabilitation and Recovery Program was a dream come true for Jack. 
Not only does the zoo provide a temporary home for manatees while they recover from cold stress and boat strikes, but it also provides a valuable conservation message to people that may never get the opportunity to see these amazing animals in the wild. To date, 27 manatees have been rehabilitated and returned to their native waters. Number two, lifelong relationships. In 1979, Jack welcomed Betty White, an animal lover and zoo enthusiast to Central Ohio. To this day, Betty remains a dear friend of the Hanna family and her celebrity visit was the first of many more to come. In 2014, when the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium opened Heart of Africa, an expansive 43-acre region filled with habitats for lions, giraffe, zebra, wildebeest, and more, Betty White again joined the zoo for the ribbon-cutting ceremony on opening day. Number one, connecting people to wildlife. Over the course of his career, Jack has connected more than five billion people to wildlife through his TV shows, speeches, and media appearances. His relationship with the media brought Columbus and the zoo to the national stage, bolstering our reputation and putting us on the map. Go with renowned wildlife advocate Jack Hanna, director. We take a deeper look at the animal kingdom. There's no greater expert than Jack Hanna. Sam is at the Columbus Zoo with a, our dear friend Jack Hanna. Sam. From the Columbus Zoo, please welcome Jack Hanna. We're right here at the Columbus Zoo, which has been voted the number one zoo in America, and with the number one animal guy in America, Jack Hanna. This is the director emeritus of the Columbus Zoo and the host of the Emmy award-winning series Jack Hanna's Into the Wild. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, our good, great friend, the one, the only, Jungle Jack Hanna. Jack, come on up. We are forever indebted to Jack and his charisma and passion and for inspiring generations of people to follow in his footsteps to be advocates for wildlife. Thank you, Jungle Jack Hanna.